What's up everyone, thanks for tuning in for today's video where I will be talking about the tech stack of Isaac.me, my personal website. So if you haven't watched it already, I did a full tour of this website and uh, yeah, link to that will be in the description. And now we will cover how everything is actually set up and running. So let's move from Isaac.me and over to localhost and uh, yeah i guess we can start out in obsidian like most of my videos do and uh, we can talk about the tech stack so for the front end of this website i am using next and typescript and tailwind for styling so yeah that's pretty standard i would say i am using next 15 to 2 oh and uh, okay there is a critical vulnerability in this version i should probably update that the pages themselves i use the source app structure and each page is just uh, created by making a new folder so like i can create a test page and from here i can create page.tsx and just go ahead and uh, put some random uh, react stuff hello from the test page just like that and if i now navigate to test you can see that i'm saying hello from the test page and i have created a couple of different components which i mostly use whoops uh, for instance the nav bar is the component on the left here if i go ahead and remove that we don't have that and uh, yeah i used flex and just position the content on the screen here so it's working pretty nicely some pages like the blog post page i'm not using the nav bar actually and this is taking some time to render it seems like boom it's rendered now and uh, yeah i'm not using the navbar i might change this up later but anyways let's keep on exploring the stack um for the blog posts and also the reading list i am using mdx which is sort of markdown on steroids so this is super sick so if i go ahead and navigate out of the app here and into content i have two different folders one blog folder and one reading folder and from here i have added all of my blog posts as standard markdown but what is really cool about using mdx is that you can inject typescript or, or react components straight into your project so if you go ahead and open a document written in mdx i can show you that it's super easy to just define new variables like uh, name and this can be isaac and <laughs> then further on i can render the normal mar markdown this is just standard markdown but with mdx and hello and i can show you the name like this and if i now find this book review noste you can see that it's saying this is a standard markdown but with the variable i created so yeah that's super sick you can also import uh, normal components and basically write just normal react inside of the mdx file so yeah super excited about getting this up and running next up i have written rss so yeah this was very simple to get up and running with next and the content uh, folder structure so from feed.xml you get your markdown feed and you can add that to any markdown reader and get all of the blog posts straight into your reader i think that is pretty cool then i use bunny for image storage so if i go ahead and open an image you can see that it's stored at cdn.isec.me and yeah like i said this is uh, a service called bunny which i've been using for a while now and i'm very happy with i added ten dollars to my account and as you can see so far in june it's currently the 23rd of june i've used 0.26 american dollars so it's <laughs> very cheap and uh, yeah i don't have crazy much much usage but i think i have like yeah 30 gigs stored um on this bucket and i also have cdn set up as well so i can really recommend uh, bunny and also there's a affiliate link in my description if you want to check it out yourself 
Then we have uh, my newsletter service, which in my case is button down, which I've been super happy with. It feels very personal as there's just this one dude running it, I think. And he has a pretty nice newsletter himself where he talks about how it's going at button down. And uh, yeah, right now I think there are 200 or so people signed up for my newsletter. So I'm super stoked on that. And uh, yeah, if you want to sign up, you can go ahead and do that on my website and uh, I will send you an email once in a while. But I now haven't sent anything since the 29th of January. So I got to get around and post something pretty soon. <laughs> and lastly, I can talk about the hosting for this website, which I do on Vercel. So as you can see here, I actually have enabled analytics and we can see that oh, zero visitors. I think that's because I've hit the max number of page views, but you can see that I get around yeah, 20 visitors or so a day, sometimes more often less. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's pretty fun uh, clicking around and why it has stopped logging now. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I'm happy with uh, using Vercel for storage. It's very simple to set up and uh, once it works, it just works. I feel like so. Yeah, that is everything for the tech stack of my website. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or you can join the Discord and ask me there directly, which is also sick. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.